that I'm a miracle right here standing before you because my expectations was not this. This wasn't my foresight. But not my will, but thine will, O oh Lord, be done. Amen. Well, I'm going to just share with you. Um, my name is Lakeisa Brooks. Um, Praise God. Uh, my name is I am a co pastor at the Wilderness Center Church of God. Um, my pastor is my husband, Sharon Brooks. Um, and we um, started out by doing outreach. First, first, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. We weren't believers of Christ. I'm going to just say that. Um, but God had a plan. Yeah, yeah. He had a plan on getting what was his back. And I just thank God for his, for him being so gracious mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and for being so kind and gentle and loving and faithful in the midst of all situations and circumstances. When I say I understand that I'm not supposed to be here, I know I'm not supposed to be here. I didn't pass death on probably like three times. <clears throat> I understand that I'm not supposed to be here because my expectations of lifestyle was to be a stripper and all this, that, and the other. I understand that I'm not supposed to be here due to the fact that I am a statistic. I was a statistic. I was a statistic. My dad, he got locked up when I was, before I even turned one. Before I even turned one. My mother, she was a single parent of five kids. She didn't know much, but she did what she could. She could. She did what she could. And I thank God for her. I, I wasn't able to appreciate it or even understand it then, but I know now me being a parent, me being a mother, it wasn't easy. Come on. It wasn't easy. She was, she was on her own. She had five kids, five kids. And not one of the dads were involved. Like I said, my dad, he was locked up until I turned 25. So, so um, that was a whole nother, nother time in my life. God did some miraculous things in my life when I turned 25. Um, long story short, a friend of my husband, he invited us to church. Um, at first I wasn't with it. He was like, we just gonna go to support my friend, this and the other. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> so I get into the house of the Lord. Praise and worship was so high, I could not stop weeping. I hadn't cried for at least 11 years. Pain was my pleasure. Pain was, pain was my pleasure. All right. And I couldn't figure out, like, why am I crying? What is going on with me? But I knew when I came out, I felt so much better. I felt so much lighter. I was so much easier than what I was. I want to say in that same month, we, we just kept going. We kept going. In that same month, um, it was a bishop, Bishop Lockett. I don't know if y'all know him or not, but my God, he knew. He's a man of God, and he knew. God used him, and he knew exactly what was going on. Um, and what had been transpiring in my life, before we started going to church, my husband did three years in prison. I waited on him. When I say I waited on him, I waited for him. I waited until right. he got out. I didn't right. cheat around. My, my thing was I went to work. I came home. I took care of my kids. I made sure my bills was paid. Went to see him, just this and other stuff like this was like normal to me due to the fact that my, my dad, he was in prison for 25 years. My first time I had ever visited him and was able to actually see him and really realize that he was real was when I turned 12. And the way that happened, it was so amazing due to the fact that that was the first summer that I had ever spent with my grandpa. My grandpa and my granddad and my dad said they was best friends. Mm -hmm. And he took me over there. Um, the summer I turned 12, praise God. The summer I turned 12, he took me over there. And it was just so many people. Just It was like they was coming in the windows. They was coming through the walls. They was coming through the front door. They was coming through the back door. And I'm like, who is these people? Um, he like, that man over there, that's your granddad. And I was like, what, what you mean? On my dad's side? 
He was like, yeah. I was like, wow. Wow. I was like, you know, us growing up, ain't nobody else seen their dad. Don't nobody else know their dad. So I didn't expect on seeing my dad or knowing my dad, knowing my grandpa or any of them. Anything, because I know the chances for us to be able to meet our dad or anybody that's related to that side is slim to none. Mm -hmm. It's slim to none. And the way I grew up, it was I was living the life of an adult at the age of 16. Um, going out at night, coming back in the morning, getting drunk, getting high, just doing all types of stuff that I didn't have no business doing. But yet, let it still, God saw fit to keep me selling crack cocaine, just just doing all different types of stuff. And when I say it's a miracle, it's a miracle of me being here. And I'm not trying to beat me up or anything, but God is gracious. Yes. God is gracious and he's faithful and he will keep you even when you don't want to be kept. Yes. He knows exactly what it is that he had created you for and what he has de designed you for. You just have to agree. You just have to agree. You have to agree. You will come to the point where you're at the end of yourself and you don't have nothing else to fight with. You can't resist it anymore. You, it's done been built up. It's been done poured out. It's turned over. It's flipped over. It's stepped on. And all this, that, and the other. But when you come to the end of yourself, that is when Jesus Christ is there. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me go ahead and get started in this message because the Lord. <laughs> I thank God for the testimony that he's allowed me to have. Yes. I know I'm standing here only by his grace yes, yes, yes. and his mercy. Okay, um, praise God. The message is who's permitted in the room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We are going to come from Mark chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 37 through 41. declares in Mark chapter 5 verse 34 through 21. I'm going to just read it straight out. So, I mean, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, be not afraid. Oh, that's, excuse me, that's 36. And he suffered to him to follow to follow him say Peter James thank you God Peter James and John the brother of James and he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the Chamulet, and there that weeped welling greatly. And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make you make ye this duo and weep? Mm -hmm. The damsel is not dead, yes, yes, but yes. sleepeth. Mm -hmm. And there laughed him to scorn. 
But when he put them all out, mm -hmm. yeah. he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel. And then that were with him and entered in with the damsel, where the damsel was lying. Mm -hmm. And he looked, he took the damsel by the hand uh -huh. and said unto her, Teleth Kamai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Give you free reign and free course for you to throw your weight around in this place, God. And for those that are not moving, I pray, oh Father God, that you lean on them. So that that which is needed, oh Father God, may be able to be poured in and that which is not needed may be able to come out. Ooh, glory, I thank you, Father God, for being omniscient, sovereign, faithful, holy, righteous in your word, being true. Ooh, Sion Saya, damsel, arise. As for me, I can only connect this with me because this is an unfamiliar place for me. Yeah, I've been to Africa. I've preached crusades in Africa. I've ministered to people to the point where like, they got up and was on the point of that they got up and they arised and, and, and miracles. Miracles have been happening. Even so much so that when I'm in my prayer closet, I hear wind blowing. Ooh, yes, God. So much so to the point where like God he wants to do so much in, with, and through us. Yes, he does. But damsel, you have to arise. In this matter, she didn't have the opportunity to choose to arise. Why? Because it was ordained of her. It was ordained of her. It was her time to come up and come out of right. the place of yes. death. Yes, yes. 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 A lot of the times, the place of death that we feel like is sometimes relationships, people's places and things. People, places, and things that we came into agreement with that God had not commanded for us to come into agreement with and alignment with. Why? Because it was comfortable. Why? Because it felt good. <coughs> Why? Because it looked good. Why? Because I was turning a prophet. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, we don't know or even realize that what it is that we, we are getting in the matter is not worth what it is that we're losing. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I know this because I've been there. I've compromise myself in so many ways. I've accepted things that was unacceptable when I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it not because I was all this or all that, but there was just some things when I was in the world I wouldn't do. Right. But due to the fact I was playing that game, I was subject to some of those things that I wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the enemy took me and he kept me longer than I was willing to stay. Well, well, well. He took me for a ride that I didn't enjoy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in those places, yet let it still. God is, was, and forever be, yet still God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he was yet there in the midst of my trials and the suffering and all this and all that in those places where we were being formed and shaped in the iniquity that we was in, 
that he decided to impart his purpose within us when we were yet still out yes, yes, in the world. Yes, yes, then yes, yes. is when he did this thing. Yes, yes. No, it didn't look like what it is we thought it was supposed to look like. No, it didn't feel like what it was we thought it was supposed to feel like. But yet, let it still. God had a work and he was working. It. All right, all right. I was sitting on the couch yesterday and the Lord sent me a word and the word that the Lord sent me, it was to muley, to mule. I was like, I don't, I'm like, mule, what, what is that? I don't know. So what I did was I did what I do. I looked it up. All right. All right. Just in case if y'all don't know, I'm, I, me, myself, I didn't learn how to read until I turned 25. Why? Because when I was younger, even before I turned one, my mother, she left me with one of her friends, which just so happened to be a male. And he physically abused me, so much so to the point where, like, I still have webs on my backside, the length of pimp pencils and it was hard for me to get into a place to be able to trust people yes. mm -hmm. I didn't know or understand exactly what was taking place as we moved we moved something different times up uh, we moved something different times so I had so many different teachers mm -hmm. every time I would get into a place where I was comfortable and I was able to receive or able to learn to learn from them we would move mm -hmm. So therefore, it was I wasn't able to do it. Why? Because I had a whole lot of trust issues built up. But even in those places, God was doing the work and something was happening. So Tempula, it says, also acts as um, maintaining the designs to honor and remember the dead. Mm. T-U-M-U-L-I, Timuli. Many of the most well-known burial mourns and the well-memorized ancient important people Okay. Can you really read that? I'm sorry. It says also, as um, as as mentioned, designed to honor and remember the dead. Many of most well-known burial uh, monuments in the world memorize ancient important people. Okay. So I was like, Lord, what, what, what does this have to do with, you know, you know, sometimes you got to ask. You can't just Amen. make like you know something when God is trying to so, show you something. You have to humble yourself in order to receive everything that the Lord has yes. for you. Yes. And then I heard mentions designed to honor and remember what is dead. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Come on mm -hmm. here. <laughs> you have to remind yourself <laughs> that who you were, where you was, Come on now. that old me is dead. Yes. As for now, I am risen with an and Christ. Yes. Yes. Why? Because he dwells within me. Yes. Yes. Even though sometimes you don't feel like it, sometimes you don't see it, sometimes you don't hear it, smell it, or even taste it. Yes. But, yet that is still, God is faithful. Yes, he, is. he is so faithful to the point where he's going to do everything you ask for him yes. to do. Hey! Yes. And the reason why I know is because just recently I was at a Bible study. And, but prior to that, it was a morning I was in prayer. And after I got done, I started listening to what it was that I was reading. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened to be the book of Daniel. Mm -hmm. 
And it said, Daniel had an excellent spirit. Mm -hmm. I stopped for a minute. I pondered on it. Mm -hmm. I gulped real hard. Mm -hmm. I was like, Lord, I want that. Mm -hmm. I was like, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> Just so happened, a few days later, in Bible study, the Bible study that was going on, it was so on time. And it hurt it. It hurt it in a good way. Because through the teaching, as he was speaking, God was speaking to me as he was speaking. Yes, yes, and what I heard is, for lack of better words, you stank. Mm -hmm. wow. You stank. I was like, Lord, you know, I was broken. Yes. And in that place when you are something is revealed to the point where like you stink, you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity to go to God in that thing in spite of how you feel like it, in spite of whether or not if you agree, you have the opportunity to ask him to show you what it is that he's, he's talking about. Why? Because he wants to prepare us for himself. Yes. Yes. He wants us to be ready for him. Yes. And not just that, you. Yes, ma'am, you. Mm -hmm. Singing the songs, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, yes. pure and holy, yes. tried and true. Yes. On that day, that hit real hard. Yes. I was like, Lord, Lord. But the thing the enemy wants to do, he wants you to be condemned. Yeah. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit don't come to condemn you. He come to convict you. He come to correct you. He come to chastise you. Why? Because you are a daughter of the Father. Yeah. And he loved you too much to leave you the way he found you. Yeah, that's right. And that is a blessing. Yes. That's a blessing within itself. Yes. But you already know that God is a gentleman. and He's not going to do no more than what you allow him or even want him to do. But I ask for this. I ask for this. And it hit hard. Yes, hard. I was all in the ground, wallowing, snotting, crying, and all this, this, that, and the other. About time I got up, I knew and I heard and I understood. I'm not moved by your tears. I'm not moved by you weeping. Because faith without works is dead. Jairus, he had the courage to ask. He asked Jesus Christ to come with him and touch his daughter so that she may be able to get up and not just that, but to live. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore, Jairus, he had to understand that something else had to transpire that had not yet happened. Yeah. His daughter had to die. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he asked. Mm. He asked for him to touch her so that she may live. That's right, that's right. That's he right. asked that. That's right. That's right. That's right. But in that place, that's good. that they came in, they they came with the report of her being dead. Yeah. They was trying to convince her, come on, don't bother messing yeah. no more. Yes, they would. It's done. You know, she dead. Yeah. Leave him alone. Jesus Christ, he heard him. Mm -hmm. And he went in. Jairus decided to fix his gaze upon Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. In the midst of y'all's situation, whatever it is that's going on with y'all, you need to fix your gaze. Come on here. You need to zoom in yeah. and remember that word that God had already told you. Yeah. Remember the word that God had given you that is going to alter what it is that had previously happened with your forefathers. Yes, yes. Those places that was desolate, dead, 
those places where you offer up or you, you, you visit as a memorial when you see different things or when you hear different ideas. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. When you see different stuff that take place and you're like, oh God, I remember you said something about that. But you decided not to act on it. Mm -hmm. That is a dead memorial. Mm -hmm. Because you decided not to move on it. Not saying that it's too late, not saying that it is over, because God is faithful yes, yes, to yes, perform yes, what it is that he yes, said. Yes, yes. He just waiting on you. And even the woman with the issue of blood, mm -hmm. she faced it. She believed that if I could touch, mm -hmm. if I could touch his clothes, mm -hmm. Then and only then will I be made whole. Mm -hmm. As I was going through the process and I was reading, I've never seen or even heard this for the first time. I heard it for the first time. God revealed to me. She thought that her infirmity was too filthy for her to actually touch him. Mm -hmm. That's why she only wanted to touch his garment. Oh, yes. 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 But how many times do we think the same thing? How many times do we go to God and give him the same thing that he has allowed us to triumph over and to come out as if we're still there? That is a dead memorial. You're no longer there. That's not who you are. That's who you was. But the thing about it, when Jesus Christ gazed in and talked to Jairus, in that moment and only in that moment, there was an opportunity for him to choose to stay there and die and lay down what it was that he had hoped and dreamed for, what he had in his heart and had expectations for. Mm -hmm. He went to God because he knew who he was as soon as he came off the scene. Yes. He besought God and his, his call and his, his asking and his seeking and his worship was so much greater than the others. That's why he was able to walk with Jesus. And Jesus was able to come into agreement with what it was that he needed because his faith and his hopes, everything that he had yes. was dependent and riding on Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and who he knew him to be. Yeah. Yeah. People just can't tell you who somebody is. Wow. People just can't tell you who Jesus yeah. Christ is. Yeah. You have to get a revelation of who yeah. Jesus Christ is. Yeah. And the only way you're going to get that is when you seek him. Yes. Yes. When you search for him. When you worship him. When you go to him and you acknowledge the fact that I am at the end of me. Yeah. Everything I had, everything I've used, everything I've tried, every person I went to, it, it doesn't work. Yeah. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, she's been everywhere. She did everything. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, when it was all said and done, mm -hmm. she, she, it, she was worse off, mm -hmm. worse off than when she started. Mm -hmm. The issue of blood had lasted for 12 long years. Mm -hmm. But in those 12 long years, God was establishing his government, All right. his order, mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. his will, his purpose, his plan in her to the point where she could know and understand only the one true and living God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can get you to where you desire to be. Yes, yes. Sir. Yes. As far as your healing, yes. your wholeness, mm -hmm. your deliverance, mm -hmm. your sound mind. And it's only, it's only going to happen in his presence. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. 
The reason why they say you have to have high expectations because if you're not hoping in him, you're hoping in people, places, yes. and things. Come on now. And if you're not hoping in the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who knew you before, mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. it's a lot that took place in that before. All right. All right. Amen. Before you were here, before you were formed in your mother's womb, before Hallelujah, that time he knew you. Yeah. He knew your purpose. He knew the plan that he had for you. He knows it. He knows it very well. You just have to come into agreement with him. Yes. Yes. And even the girl, the 12 year old girl in that place, she needed a miracle. She needed the miracle. She needed to live. Why? Because there was something st that still had to transpire and take place. We all have to get in agreement with the power of the sweet and the Holy Spirit so the Lord our God can perform that miracle yes. that we mm -hmm. are seeking him for, yes. that we are desiring for. i tell you the truth. God is a mind blower. Yes. Yes. I never... I never know what God can do. You never know what God can do until he starts performing that thing. Mm -hmm. And the way you get into agreement with the power of the Holy Spirit, you get it, you hear a thing. Mm -hmm. Whether if it's in your ear or by somebody else's mouth. A lot of the times when somebody says something to you, you already know it. It just brings back the memory or even confirmation. Yes. Yes. That seed that was sown, he just waiting for you to cause it to germinate and grow. Mm -hmm. You have to put in the work on that seed that you received. Mm -hmm. All right. You have to do what it is you need to do and you know you need to do in order to make it come to pass. Mm -hmm. You have to faith it. Mm -hmm. All right. Get like the woman. If I can just touch, mm -hmm. just yes, touch a call, mm -hmm. then I will be made whole. The woman, she was subject to the bleeding for 12 long years. In those places, she was dying. She was bleeding out. I just want to make you all aware, these babies that you're carrying, these ideas, these books, these businesses, these 1,400 businesses or whatever it is, it's in you because it's appointed to you. Just like a baby, just like a baby. I had a dream about a baby a few nights ago. And it was as if it was my baby. I was holding it. I was nurturing it, but the baby was a newborn. It was a newborn. And I was in a church and I was holding my baby. And somebody came up that I knew and wanted to hold my baby. I had not made a decision to allow that person to hold my baby. Even though they looked it like they was okay. Mm -hmm. Come on here. Even though Come on here. it seemed as if it was going to be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. As I was standing there and I was holding my baby, he reached out and he grabbed. He grabbed the arm of it. The arm of the baby came off. Mm -hmm. It came off. And what happened, the baby was bleeding. Mm -hmm. The baby was bleeding. And... In the midst of that, you know, you helpless arise. You trying to find some help. Mm -hmm. You trying to find some help. So I go over to my husband, and it was as if the situation that I had, that had happened, it wasn't important. Mm -hmm. So I leave from that place. I go to a separate place, and I go to a room, and I, I have the baby, and I lay the baby down. My son come in the room, and he he like, what's going on, mom? 
what's going on? I'm crying and I'm over the baby and it's like, I tell him and then he walk out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that thing, God did some things and he gave me some understanding mm -hmm. as of what was taking place, the different things that had took place. One, your baby is your baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's for you to nurture. It's for you to sow in. It's for you to grow up. It's for you to mature. It's yeah. for you yes. to do it. It's for you to keep it safe. Mm -hmm. It's for you to cater to it. And, and it's not for anybody else to do it. A lot of the time when God puts something in your bosom concerning your baby, it don't have anything to do with anybody else, nor can they understand what it is that you're carrying, the burden that you're carrying with this thing. But it's your responsibility. It's your duty and it's your obligation to write those books, to start those businesses, to start those ministries. Even when you, even if you're by yourself, if you're diligent, God will send the help that you need when you need it. But in the process of you doing it, don't be weary in well doing. For you will reap a political harvest if you faint not. Be diligent. Arise, daughter. In that time that Jesus Christ was with Jairus and a man came and the crowd was yet still following him. At that time, Jesus Christ knew it was time. It's time for you to separate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to know when it's time for you to separate. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't care. If their faith can't connect to your Gosh. faith about what it is that God gave to you, then you're entertaining the wrong company. I'm yeah, not, yeah, yeah. you know, I ain't trying to be funny. It ain't nothing personal. It's just I got something to do. Yeah. 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 I got to be about my father's business. Yeah. I don't know how many lives God is trying to change through this thing, but guess what I'm here for? Yeah. 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 And I'm going to be like the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. I'm going to face it. Yeah. Praise God. Oftentimes, when it don't look like, when it don't feel like, when it don't seem like, when it don't come the way we think, we mm -hmm. expect for it mm -hmm. to come, we oftentimes reject it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's right. Jesus. But I don't know if you realize God had to send a raven to feed Elijah. Mm -hmm. He had to. So therefore, don't look on the package. Well, now, Jesus. That's good. Mm -hmm. Look at what's in there. That's right. Right. That's right. A lot of you had stopped the blessings just because it didn't come from who you expected for it to come from. Mm -hmm. It didn't look like what you anticipated for it to look like. But nonetheless, it was sons of the Lord, and you refused it. Religion will get you every time. Why do you think Jesus Christ was saying, when I was hungry, yeah. mm -hmm. you didn't feed me. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I was thirsty, yeah. you didn't give me something to drink. Yeah. When I was in prison, you didn't visit me. When I was sick, you didn't you didn't come see me. Yeah. Well, why do you think? I just pray. I pray that we get it. Yes. 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 One more thing. There was a long walk mm -hmm. that Jairus mm -hmm. 
had with Jesus Christ. Yeah. And there was a lot that was taking place and going on at the time that he met him at the sea, from in between the sea and his house. Mm -hmm. And in that time that he seen that miracle that was before, being performed for the woman with the issue of blood, that rose is hope. Mm -hmm. That rose is hope. And probably even before her feet was able to leave their presence, the man from the house, they came. Yes. The enemy is trying to come to steal, mm -hmm. kill, and destroy yes. what is rightfully yours. Yes. Yes. But he can't take it from you. That's right. That's right. Thank you. That's right. Except if you hand it over. The way you hand it over. You choose to stop believing. Mm -hmm. You choose to turn back. Mm -hmm. You choose to go against what it was or come out of agreeing what it is, against what it is that Jesus Christ had already told you that he would do. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be careful yes, to not lose hope yeah. and know and understand that your hope come from the source of one. Yes. 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 It's not in your children, mm -hmm. it's not in your husband, mm -hmm. it's not in your sisters, it's not in your brothers, mm -hmm. because when he tells you, you have to come into agreement with the faith. Yeah. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit, and you have to sup with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have to let the Lord know, I heard you. Mm -hmm. I believe you, I trust you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cover that thing with prayer. Yeah. Every time you think about it, every time you get an idea, write that thing down because it's going to grow and it's going to enhance and it's going to increase what it is that God had already put in your bosom. All right. That baby. That baby. That baby. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We get to the point where she was in, she was in, hallelujah, a place, a thing that you, that's there, she, it was separated, she was separated from them. Mm -hmm. It was in a whole nother room, nobody else was there, nobody else was there. He had to kick everybody that was in the house out. Everybody who didn't have the faith to connect with what it was that God saw fit to do in the midst of the situation. He said, she's not dead, she's asleep. So when God says something to you about a situation, no matter what it looks like, no yeah. matter what it seems like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what it smells like, yeah. no matter what you see, All right. uh -huh. All right. it's asleep. It's asleep. Mm. <laughs> In the midst of that thing, you got to let God know, Lord, I'm looking for a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm depending on you to put your super on my natural. I'm depending on you to manifest your glory with power and clarity. I'm depending on you to do what it is that man say you can't do. But I'm in relationship with you, God. I know what you can do. You did it before. You did it before. Why? Because you did it in me. Yeah. Nobody can follow Jesus Christ if they don't know him, if they don't have a heart change. Yes. 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 The lady with the issue of blood, there was something that transpired within herself. Mm -hmm. Within her body, she knew at that instant mm -hmm. her infirmity was dried up. She knew in that instance that she was healed. Yes. But in that time, it wasn't over. That wasn't it and that wasn't all. All right. She needed something else. Women of God, you need 
something else. I need something else. And I tell you the truth, the Lord God is here. And he is willing, and not just willing, but able to do exactly what he said he would. And not just that, but the exceedingly and abundantly yeah, yeah, above yeah, yeah. all yeah, we can yeah, ask, yeah, think, yeah. expect, or even imagine. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 But it's according mm -hmm. to the power that worketh in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody in here expecting a miracle? Yeah. 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 But I declare and I decree that they're being mended even right now. Yeah. 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 There were some things that, and people that were even rejected. Yeah. But I declare and I decree that you are accepted. Yes. Yes. You are accepted. Yes. There were some people were here that was deemed to be unlovable. Yes. I was that person. Yes. I was that person. I know what I wasn't. I know where I've been. All right. I know the roads that I've took. Yes. I know that I was one of the ones that was a castaway. Mm -hmm. I was oftentimes alone. Why? Because nobody, nobody, nobody could stand me. Mm -hmm. I was pretty much like the man that was in the tomb, oftentimes cut itself, not physically, but when you say cr crazy and foul things mm -hmm. to yourself, you're cutting yourself. Mm -hmm. That's right. yeah. That's when right. you say that you can't and you won't and you're not, and it's contradictory to the word of God, yeah. mm -hmm. you are cutting yourself. Yes, yes. Yes, you are. But even in those places, Jesus Christ, is yet still here and he's holding your hand yes. and he's saying daughter arise yes. arise out of that mindset yes. arise out of that place of offense yes. arise up out of that anger up out of that frustration yes, hallelujah arise daughter The reason why the Lord had told me I stank, and it was because it was because my attitude. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are not in a place to admit you stank. Yes. Yes. You stank. Your attitude is messed yes. up. Your attitude is jacked up, and a lot of the times people can't receive Jesus Christ because you're not wearing Him well. You're not represented the way you're supposed to. You're called to represent Jesus Christ. And he's supposed to be born as your Lord. And not just your Lord, your Savior. Yes. Jairus' daughter needed to be saved. You have what it is you need. You have everything you need. Jesus has placed this within you. He has equipped you to withstand any and every storm, any and every trial, any and every test, any and every situation that you have been and you're in and you're going to face. Jesus. It's within you to win. Yes. But the only thing you have to do is agree. Yes. You agree by start showing some gratitude. Yes. Start being grateful. Yes. Yes. Tell the Lord thank you yes. Yes. for what he has done, yes. for what he is doing, for what he is going to do, for what he told you he was going to do that you don't see yet. When I say I was done, when he told me I said he started to show me what it was he was talking about. And all I could do is weep. 
because he bring it to your mind. He reminds you of the times that he decided to use you, but you refused. Come on. But you decided to turn a deaf ear. You decided to go another way. You decided to choose to do something different. But I tell you the truth. God is so amazing. Yes, he, yes. Is. he loves us. Yes. <laughs> In spite of yes. us. Yes. And he wants the best for yes, us. He does. Yes, he does. Well, he told me that I couldn't do nothing but cry. Oh, I couldn't do nothing but cry because it was true. Mm -hmm. God loves us too much to lie to us. Yes. That's right. He lied, He loves us too much to let us think mm -hmm. that we're doing okay and what we're doing is right when it's not. Yes. Thank you, God. But us, we have to come into a place where we're allowing God to correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where we're receiving mm -hmm. what it is he's saying everything that try to come to you and tell you that you ain't doing this and you ain't that is not the enemy mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy Spirit has right. come to teach yes. correct yes. lead, yes. guide direct yes. in all truth, yes. all truth. Yes. All truth. Yes. therefore he's making us a vessel yes. he's making us but he's a gentleman. He's not going to do nothing you don't want him to do. Yes, I desire right. to be made. Yes. That's right. Yes. I refuse. I refuse. Yeah. I've been through any and everything else. I've done any and everything else. Mm -hmm. Everything else has been done to me. Yes. There's nothing else to do. There's nowhere else to go. There's nowhere yes. else yes. to turn. Yes. Your only help is from in, with, and through yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And he is mighty to save. Yes, yes, he, is. he is a redeemer. Yes, he, is. he is a healer. Yes, he, is. he is a mind regulator. Yes, he is, he is who he says he is. Yes, he, is. he is a wonderful yes, counselor. Yes, he is a lily of the valley. Yes, he is the bright and morning star. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the I am that I am. Yeah. And he has everything you need. Yeah. He has placed it within you. Within you. Yeah. Within you. Yeah. To win. Yes. The way you get there. Talk to the Lord. When I said I, I had to go. Before I ask him, Lord, give me your excellent spirit. Mm -hmm. The flesh don't want that. Mm -hmm. The flesh don't want no part of that. All right. Why? Because that is giving place and room for God to dwell. Yes. 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 His anointing and his correction come with power. Yes. It comes with authority. Yeah. It comes with dominion. Mm -hmm. God has called you to rule some things. Yes. Yes. I don't care how old you are. Yes. If you're in this room, he's talking to you. Yes. Yes. If you're in this room, it is you. Yes. You he wants. You he desires to make new, make fresh, make his vessel. Why? Because his good, so his goodness and his glory can go and reside any and every place where you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love the fact that God is so amazing and he wants to be known. Yes. He wants to be yes. known through you. Yes. He wants them to see him through you. Yes. But you have to agree. You have to agree. It's going to start in his presence. It's going to start in his presence. That praise, that worship, that adoration. The reason that Jairus was able to be heard, he fell down. He came to the end of himself. He knew that there was no other way. I need you. I'm dependent on you. I'm relying 
on you. Mm -hmm. I can't do this thing without you. Mm -hmm. I need your presence. Mm -hmm. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. She fell down yes. in worship. Yes. It's going to be in that place of worship. It's going to be in that place of adoration. It's going to be in that place of thank you, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're holy, Lord. You're faithful, Lord. You can do anything but fail. I'm depending on you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I can't do it by myself, Lord. I want you. I need you to do it. In that place of humility, in that place of dethroning, yourself. Yes. Dethroning in those people. Mm -hmm. Dethroning in those places. Dethroning those things that you have set up in Jesus Christ's place. Mm. You're going to have to dethrone them. Yes. And that time that God was dealing me, deal with me, I was like, Kisa, I, de I dethrone you. Mm. I dethrone you. I was like, Lord, I've been trying to play your part, <laughs> but only your God and only you can be. I need you to relinquish your power. Well, I, I needed to relinquish my power. I need you, Lord, to come into this place, take up refuge. Take up your residence. Throw your weight around. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In here. Mm -hmm. So that you can richly dwell. Mm -hmm. So that people can see you. They can know you. They can hear you. They can feel you. Yes. They can experience you through me. The way you see fit. Yes. Yes. I had to do that. I had to come out of agreement with my mindset. Mm -hmm. Out of the place of feeling as if I am so entitled. Yes. Yes. This is supposed to be like this. That is supposed yes. to be like that. Yes. Yes. Says who? Oh, yes. yes. Says who? Yes. A lot of the time, it's religion. Yes, yes. <laughs> Like I said, it's self-entitlement. Yes, Lord. It's pride. Mm -hmm. It's heady and high-mindedness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God is going to tell you to apologize. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Happen to me often. I'd be like, Lord, didn't, mm -hmm. didn't you just see this? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you see what just happened to me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on, Lord. Yes. <laughs> Apologize. That's right. That's right. Lord. The Lord mm. is looking. For you to be righteous yes. Yes. and not right. <laughs> Righteousness will apologize to somebody when they have been done wrong. Righteousness will cause you to serve somebody that have done you so wrong. Righteousness will cause you to speak good of somebody that cursed you. Yeah. Yeah. Righteousness yeah. will cause you to lay everything that you feel, think, yeah. expect, uh -huh. and desire to be right yeah. down. Yeah. Righteousness. Yeah. He's calling for us to be righteous. Yeah. Not right. Yeah. Righteousness can be a hard pill to swallow. Yes, it oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it is. It, it is. is. Right. It don't feel good to die. Mm -hmm. It don't feel good to die, but guess what? Yeah. You have to die. Yeah. Because you may be the only Jesus that somebody is able to see. Yeah. You have to die. So that Jesus Christ can live through you. Yeah. It don't feel good. 
But if it ain't tight, it ain't right. It's not about a feel-good message. It's not about money, cars, clothes, and all that. No. No, it's about your riches being stored up in heaven. Where the moth does not eat up, where it does not rust nor tarnish, nor can a thief break in to steal it. The riches that I'm talking about, it is hidden within you, the earthly vessels. Yes, yes. You are yes. the earthly vessels. Yes. And it's up to you to choose to take on Jesus Christ yes. and take off yourself yes. just so he can do the work that he so desired yes. to do in, with, and through you so that those that are dead yes. may be able to arise. You'll rise into yes. glory. Yes, yes, yes. You'll rise into faith to faith. Yes, yes. yes. To glory to glory. Yes. You'll rise into the occasion to be God's bride. Yes. yes. A lot of people desire to be a wife, but you should desire to be a bride. Yes. 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 That cannot be tainted. Yes. That cannot be taken. It can't be taken away. It is, it was, it will forever be what God, through our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. desire for us to be here. Realize what's in the room and what's in the room. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. Do anybody have any questions? Hallelujah. Do anybody have any questions of, of anything concerning me? Or what it was I was talking about? Or anything? Especially if you have an argument with someone, and I had an argument with this person that was my friend, and I kind of went off on her, and we were going on a trip, and she said, I don't want to go. Who are you? You can't talk to me like that. So I was angry with her, and she was angry with me. So I drove by where she work at last week and I felt that God wanted me to go by there and I was like oh my God there's her car God you gotta put something in me in my right. mouth to come out to say to her so I drove up beside her and her head twisted around like this and I'm like okay God what do you want me to say mm -hmm. and the only thing that came out of my mouth was I apologize mm -hmm. and it, it, it had to be God because I was angry and I was going to stay there I was going to stay angry with her, and she started screaming at me, and I said, well, I just want to say I apologize, and I love you, you know, and you know what you said, everything you said today was confirmation. Praise God, and it's amazing because the way God do things is not the way we expect for him to do it. No. And that's an amazing thing because with whatever it is he desired to use and desire for you to do, it's causing you to die. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's causing you to be able to make room for him to live and dwell. Mm -hmm. It's causing that power and that anointing to flow all the more stronger, longer, and harder. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you the truth. God, God, I'm so ooh. I'm so grateful to God because he's done some amazing things in my life. All right. And God is so amazing to the point where, like, the very things that you pray for that mm -hmm. you can be, like, mm -hmm. see, overseas from, and, mm -hmm. you know, he will let you know yes. 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 Yeah. that he loves you so much and he's so intentional about you that yes. he got it done. Yes. yes. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. 
it was a while ago, I seen these these people. They had like a um, flesh eating bacteria disease. Mm. Um, in their feet, in their knees, and in their elbows and stuff. And God just so happened allowed me to go to Kenya. My God. But before I went to Kenya, I had a flip-flop drive. I had a flip-flop drive um, for the people I raised, like 400 and something flip-flops um, to um, give to them. Lo and behold, I decided to do it, but I didn't. I didn't ask God. I just wanted to be a, a solution to the problem. Um, I found out that the reason why I was like that, it said that the bacteria came from the dust, but how many of y'all know that's not true? Mm -hmm. um, so I have 400 and some flip flops, and I'm like, what am I gonna do with these? So it's a ministry that's, that's somewhere down the road, like on Kipper Road, it's like this little house where they started um, making up food, um, um, packages and different stuff and they would ship it out to different countries. I went there and I gave it to them. But the situation remained in my heart. So I started praying. I started asking God for healing, for deliverance, for God to move. And when I went to Kenya, I had met a friend. Her name was Ruth. She would come over to start them would be, be there resting, um, getting revived and replenished, studying or whatever, and get ready to go back out. She came over and she said, oh, I'm about to go to such and such, and um, you can come if you want to. I said, I was like, okay, where you, where you about to go? What you about to do? She started talking about the same people. They had the flesh-eating disease mm -hmm. in their feet, mm -hmm. in their knees, yes. and in their elbows. Long story short, the people that I was with, they wasn't, they didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. But I was ready. Mm -hmm. I was ready. I don't know why, probably for fear or whatever. They, they didn't want to go for fear or whatever. But I respected what it was that they said. So therefore, I didn't go. Mm -hmm. So she went on. And I prayed. So what they would do, they would go and clean the wounds of the people. So I prayed. I don't know how much longer afterwards My God. that I received a phone call. Woo! She said they no longer.
please forgive me for the way that I act. Mm -hmm. When I get there, I'll be on time because that's the time you have allowed me to arrive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Half of the sky cleared up. Mm -hmm. My God. The rainbow came out. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. And it started shining on the car and leading me to where no. I needed to be. Oh. Oh. Me not really realizing or even understanding what's going on because I'm my first. My aunt, when I got there, my uncle, he knows a lot of stuff. He was like, something really is transpiring and happening because the rainbows change direction. Mm. <laughs> it's not supposed to go in this direction, but on today, Yes. It's shining towards uh, this uh, way. Yeah. And I knew, I knew that the Lord cares about me and he's intentional about me, but he's no respect of a person. Therefore, he loved you just the same. He's intentional about you just the same. Test the back. Glory. <laughs> Put your hopes. Put your hopes, yes. put your confidence, yes. Yes. put your expectations yes. in Jesus Christ yes. Yes. and know that he's going to do it. When he sees fit to do it, yes. it's yes. going to be done. Yes. That's all I have to share and say. wanted me to share this share this with you ladies the woman with the issue of blood was desperate Jairus was desperate God said is there any ladies in here that's desperate yes, now listen there's two perspectives that we can walk this thing out in you can be the woman that needs that healing and you're desperate to go after the Lord. Because see, one thing I know about the woman with the issue of blood mm -hmm. is that legally, because Levitical law states that she was unclean. Yeah. 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 She was desperate. Let's talk about her desperation for a minute. Yeah. She said, forget the law. Yes, if you got to lock me up and stone me to death or whatever you think you want to do, I am going to go past that and I'm going to make sure I'm able to be in the place. Yes, to reach the hem of his garment. Okay. Then let's talk about the parent for a moment. I got any parents in the room? Yes. The desperation that we have as a parent. Could you only imagine what that synagogue ruler, first of all, he's a ruler. So you telling me that he had to push his pride aside to be able to go to somebody else and say, hey, I need some help. Yeah. I can't do this on my own. Yeah. Listen, desperation. Do I have any women in the room that's desperate? Desperation calls us to do something a little different. It calls us to say glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I need you to meet me here. God, I got to miss you. Lord, God, my kids got to miss you. Lord, God, we need you today. Come on, desperate ladies. Come on, desperate women in here. Let's even touch the women who's going to 
when we return back to our homes being different. Somebody saying, wait a minute, now hold on. Oh, I know y'all went somewhere, but my God, I wasn't expecting for y'all to come back like this. Listen, y'all in the right house at the right moment. My God, get what you need from the Lord to please us. In this moment, this is the right moment for you to come up. We got some people in here that's prayer warriors that will pray for you, pray with you in this moment. In this moment. Don't let it pass you by. Yes, you should. I thank you for the circumcision, God. Yes, that is taking place. Cutting away that which was so that you, O oh God, may be able to put in what it is you desire for them to have. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of your resurrection, overthrow any and everything that is not like you. Uproot any and every spirit of hindrance, God. Woo! Disappointment, The blood of Jesus is against you, And I break you right down in the name of Jesus, Frustration, The blood of Jesus is against you, and I break you, You have no place here. You have no rule here. You have no authority here. Any and everything that is not like God, we dethrone you right now in the name of Jesus. Woo! By the Christ of Nazareth, preach, 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 daughter, that I am here and you can touch ya. Woo! Me, We bind you up. We break you off. We cast you down and send you back to the pits of hell from which you came for you to never return. We break you off free of frustration. Every spirit of abandonment, spirit of an orphan, I break you off right now. Orphan spirit, I bind you and I break you off. These are the daughters of the one true and living God. You cannot have them. You cannot have what it is that God has placed within them for his glory. This day, this day, this day, the story is changing. 
Tina now. Daughter, arise. She of the Messiah. Woo! From fear to faith. Yasion Dorosaya. From frustration to hope. Hasion Dorosaya. Dadaba. Pasion Dorosaya. Dadaba. Daughter, Sion Dadaba. Yes, Sion Dorosaya. Woo! If I gotta crawl, Hasion Dorosaya. I'ma get to it. Yasion Dorosaya. If I gotta jump. And even to minister the spirit of reconciliation. 
creation, God, to make whole, to bring forth, come forth. Thank you. 